Alrighty guys, what's going on? It is your boy Rex, um, Alex King here with a little baseball video for you. Um, woke up this morning, decided to hit first thing, um, got the camera out and just started recording. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little voiceover today of kind of what I'm thinking when I'm doing my tea work, um, especially here in these quarantine times. I know it's tough for everybody um, to get out there and get your work done and I know everybody's kind of itching for some baseball as well so this will give you a little uh, little satisfaction here of some live baseball um, I've got my setup here um, I'm gonna put links to everything that it took to get this set up I've got some scraps and stuff uh, of some things I found around the house but I'll try and do my best for you guys um, right here I'm showing you my jaw bat these guys are absolutely incredible um, they hooked me up with these bats um, pretty cheap really um, they're a smaller company out of Kansas, but um, they have hooked me up with a basically a creator code, um, a discount code for you guys. I'm pretty sure it's still active. We did it last, off, the beginning of this off season actually, um, back in the September October range. But uh, yeah, I just use code Rex Bing at checkout when you're um, creating those jaw bats to get a small discount there. And um, I do not get any proceeds from that. I just wanted to help them out and give them a little business. So if you guys are looking for that wood bat, that perfect custom wood bat for this quarantine life, um, go ahead and head over there and check them out. Um, I love their stuff. And this weighted trainer has been something I've started my day with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I, uh, I love using this thing and get the hands going early. Um, kind of makes my body feel like, oh man, like uh, I'm feeling weak today. I'm, fe I'm not feeling right. But once I get feeling right with this heavy bat, everything else comes in a line and it all works. Uh, for me in this model, I've got a thicker handle. I wanted that, that weight in the handle um, to start my day to, to get my forearms going, really. Um, forearms are a big key and, and flicking that barrel through the zone. Um, obviously, there's a fine line between flicking that barrel and, and rolling over. Um, so staying through the ball, staying inside of the ball, but also being able to flick that, that barrel through. Um, gets that exit velo up and and gets that good whip on your bat uh, while still having good habits and good posture and good form. Um, so this is uh, this setup. You know, I'm I'm very grateful to be able to have something like this here. Um, you know, as a as a professional baseball player, you, you gotta find any way possible to get your workouts and your hitting in. Um, even fielding is is tough during these times, but. Um, for me right now, I am I am set here. I've got my tee, and I can do uh, soft toss if needed uh, from the side. But I, I'm a big fan of the tee. I love my tee, and uh, it's something that I've really used a lot in the last couple po uh, off seasons. Sorry, and uh, yeah, it's been a huge key for me in in developing my swing and being very confident in staying inside the baseball and having good form every time I swing the bat. Um, so here, I think I'm just finishing up this round here with the heavy bat. Um, as you can see, I'm doing no stride. I, I always start my day with no stride. Um, it's just something that I've done <laughs> ever since I got into pressure baseball. Uh, I had a coach. He was actually in King County last year, um, but I had him in Hillsboro a little bit my first year, Micah Franklin. And he kind of taught me this one. Um, usually you can put a bat in between your feet, but I haven't done that in years because um, I still like to turn my front foot as I swing. Um, obviously, there's no stride, but I still like to turn and I don't I don't like the bat in between. Um, as you can see here, I, I still drive that front foot as well or that back foot. I'm sorry, that back foot. I still drive forward. Um, I found that when I had the bat in between my feet, I was squishing the bug which everybody always talks about in youth baseball, squishing the bug, this, squishing, you know, doing that. And it's not a good habit, you guys. I will, I cannot emphasize that enough. It's not a good habit to squish the bug. Maybe if you are in kindergarten or first grade, it kind of gives that, that age group, that demographic, a good idea of the turn that is necessary in a swing. Um, but I have not squished the bug probably since fourth grade. Uh, I have driven this back leg through. It's, it's always been something that I've done. And uh, I think if you are in that age um, or even older and you still switch the bug, trust me on this, try to drive that back leg, that back knee through. 
Um, it's going to help you exponentially. I think you'll you'll see some exit velo jumps. You'll see some pop coming out, uh, and, and it'll all be good for your swing for sure. Right here, I, I was just swinging with my top hand with a short trainer, 28 inch bat. Um, kind of set my hands up just like this. I drop that that bottom hand, and I swing with top hand. Uh, I've always struggled to that I've they've pulled my left hand, my bottom hand through the zone. Uh, it's not a good habit to have. So uh, my second round of the day is always top hand, uh, five or six swings, and then I go two hands for a couple of swings to kind of feel what that's like. Um, and, and that's my second round of the day, you guys. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I know people always talk like, you know, why don't you use your bottom hand? Why don't you do bottom hand drills? It's not for me. Um, I would highly recommend it for you guys. Um, separating your bot bottom and your top hand, teaching them how to work independently, and then bringing them back together and working together. It's going to pay huge dividends for you guys as you move forward here um, in your progression. Um, right here, I'm just hopping right into, um, for the third round, uh, my game bat. Um, just nice and easy, 60-70% swings here. Just, again, getting back used to this weight, this length. Um, just a few swings to get back there, and then we'll start ramping it up. Um, my biggest thing when I'm hitting T, watch my eyes, you guys. I, I, I look forward as if I'm facing the pitcher, and this is big. Um, your eyes are everything when you're hitting, as you guys might imagine. Um, when you guys are hitting, being able to see the baseball efficiently and use – Turn that head to use both eyes to see the baseball come in. As you're loading, keeping that head still. And then as I load, you can watch my head um, kind of turn down and look towards the baseball, find the baseball, and, and hit it. It's all about tracking that baseball and, and following it in. So making good habits of having your head in the same spot every time you start your swing is huge. It's huge because if that head changes the ball is going to change and you're not going to be able to see it as well. And we're going to have some issues that we run into further down the line um, that just from this quarantine and, and any, any time you hit off the tee, developing a bad habit there and it's going to be a hard one to break. So that's just kind of what I'm thinking when I'm hitting uh, right here. I think I change over to an away pitch. Uh, nope. I'm going to stay middle. Um, I'm really just using that, that line down there in the driveway kind of get a, uh, an eye for where my feet are. I always start squared, and I try to end pretty much squared. Um, I don't pay attention to my back foot after I swing. Uh, my back foot kind of tails off, and I, we call it a scissor kick. Uh, when that back heel, that back foot, I kind of go behind my body a little bit. That's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you guys can see here, you can see the direct, the general direction of that foot is mostly forward, but it's also a little bit behind me. Um, that that's from me pushing off with that glute, pushing off that back leg, trying to be as efficient as possible um, with that back leg to create as much force as possible. Um, so here we are. I open up just a little bit. Um, I usually do not open up, but with my situation with the net, I don't want to even come close to missing the net as we have the cars behind there. So. Um, I'm, I'm just being cautious here, but opening up just a tad. I'm still hitting this ball. Ju it's just inside of my front hip. Um, if you guys could think about that. I don't develop any habits of me hitting the ball deep in my body. I don't want to ever hit the ball deep in my body. I want to hit, hit the ball out in front because you can see the ball when it's out in front. Um, so that that's my mantra for me. I, I kind of am up on the plate towards close to the plate I should say I'm back of the box close to the plate and I uh, I try and just catch that ball out in front and let it fly man I want to make the middle pitch a middle inside pitch um, I kind of give up the inside part of the plate but for a pitcher when a guy's close to the plate even at this level it's hard for that guy to get inside and catch that inside black for a strike if he does early in the count, I tip my hat, and then with two strikes, I can choke up a little bit and then end up being able to hit that pitch. Um, so that, that's kind of my mentality when I'm at the plate. And it, all, it all translates into my T-work here. So there I just took five or, five or six um, 
swings off the tee with the away pitch and here we are staggered inside i've got this ball way up in there and this is a really perfect point right here you can really see how how far forward that ball is in front of my back my front hip i mean that, that looks like a very normal swing doesn't it you guys and my angle i'm not that far in i'm not that far closed here i'm very much facing the camera um that ball is i mean that's a good three four baseballs in front of my front foot which then is a, even farther in front of that hip um catching the ball in front has been huge for me um, the more i get deeper with my contact point the more i get jammed the more i am inconsistent with my barrel um, so that's something that I've definitely picked up since becoming a big leaguer or minor leaguer um, being a professional being on my own path with all this um, Definitely getting the barrel out is, is big for me. Um, so that's what I work on on my t-work guys um, As we finish up here. I want to I want to close things up. This is something I want to do Once twice a week something like that We're gonna continue posting here on the YouTube for all this stuff um, I know a lot of my subscribers here are cricket fans, but uh, during this quarantine, during everything, I hope everyone is super, super safe. And I want to just educate you guys on kind of what goes through my mind here um, during this quarantine life um, for baseball. And um, give you guys a little bit of baseball as well while we miss MLB, MILB, and all that stuff. So if you guys are new, smash that subscribe button and uh, smash a like if you enjoy the content. And leave a comment of what other stuff you guys want to see me do. Um, that's going to be it for us. We're out of here. Peace. Thank you.